Oh god, my fucking head. And where the hell am I? Who are you? What are you doing here with me? Am I in jail? Oh no. No. No, no. I knew I wouldn't be the last one. Did they also tell you the tales about the Keeper's spirit? Um... They no. lured you into a trap, you know. And you fell for it. Because you're arrogant. Just as I am. As I was. What are you talking about? I know you're just an illusion. Get out of my way. You're not real, are you? <sighs> of course not. At least not according to your definition of the word. But then again, what is reality anyway? It's what exists. If I told you that you and your friend Sirius actually lie dead at the bottom of the sea, and that everything that has happened so far, your journey to Ark, the search at the Sun Coast, was only a dream, would you be able to recognize the truth? The answer is no. Because you don't want to be dead. Therefore, your mind will do anything to make you believe this entire dream you've had was and is reality. How am I able to dream if I'm actually dead? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> doesn't it? Tell me, what is time to the dead and dreaming anyway? The last second before the water floods into your lungs. The very last instant before it tears them apart. In your mind, it could be an eternity. Wait a second. A self-created sanctuary built from nothing but your wishes. But what's the point in talking anyway? You don't want to believe me. And I'm tired of trying to make you. Now leave me alone, before we make the suppressor even angrier. He doesn't like words. He likes the silence. What is time to the dead in dreaming? That was in one of my- that was in like my first vision, I remember that. Uh, the suppressor. Who are you talking about? What? They haven't told you about him? Oh, that's so typical. The suppressor. He's the reason why we will be imprisoned here forever. And why we can't access our feelings and wishes. And he does it because he wants us to lose hope. To stop believing. Don't stop believing. And... You know, sometimes I wonder if that's exactly what we humans... What I have to do to finally be free. Give up. Detach myself from the dreams of the past. Who knows if there were anything else than phantasms to begin with. But no. No, not yet. It's too early to surrender. And isn't that what makes us human anyway? To hope? And to just keep on waiting for that one miracle that will end the pain once and for all? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. And you will wait with me forever. Uh, I'll pass. I gotta get out of this strange place. Oh! Oh no, that's a skeleton! Oh! Did you just... What the? How did you do that? I didn't do anything. I wish I knew. Y you... You simply opened it? But that's impossible. All these years it's kept me from escaping and, and you just... He's not happy with me. Come, come on. We... We have to look. We... We have to look and see what's outside. We won't get far, but... But still, we... We have to see. Come. Lead the way. Do I have all my gear, or am I just... Oh, no, I'm naked. Okay. Oh, there's the skeleton now. Yeah, I lost all my gear. I'm pretty sure I have nothing. Oh, those are ghosts. Okay. Wait, oh, I have a dagger. Oh, you're not gonna seduce me, lady. Okay, okay, this hurts. Oh, this hurts a lot, actually. Do I still have... 
I still have rock solid. Alright, good. Oh, can I not... Oh, I can't use my abilities here, I don't think. Oh, I can. Alright, it just wasn't letting me before. I was hitting... The button, but it wasn't doing anything. These are the scourges of the suppressor. They want to punish us. Yeah, no, I noticed that. If we had any food right now, that would be great. Written paper. Let us listen to the silence. What really drives you? Who are you? Who are you since you have set foot on Enderal? Now you are the opposite of what you really are. Instructive, strong, powerful, meaningful. In short, the prophet. You have constructed a narrative for yourself, a fairy tale. A fairy tale about who you want to be. And you have found exactly those people who confirm it. That's the most important thing, isn't it? You found someone who believes in your fairy tale, don't you see? You're simply wrong. All about you is wrong. You're pathetic. You know that? What would Sirius say about this? Do I get to see Sirius? Oh, that's a corpse. I do not want a human flesh. I do not want a human heart. I do not want green eggs and ham. I do not want them, Sam. I am. More corpses? Just... Yep, no, I would like to not eat the human flesh. That would be great. Oh, that's a floating chair. Got a health potion. An iron axe. More written paper. Uh, oh, nope, same note as before. How do I open this now? Oh, I don't think I can. Okay. I have a feeling we can't go through that way. Nor do I really want to try. Yeah, no, with the battering ram and everything, I think I will pass, but... At least now... I have... An iron axe. Much better. Yeah, no, let's, uh... Let's not go that way. Let's see, is there another way I can go? Uh, that's the way I came from. Here we go, up the stairs. Well, oh, another seducer. I'm rock solid, baby. Rock solid. So cold. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go out. After all, I mean, I mean, yeah. Yes, the cell is small, but at least it's safe. Was it safe, though? Let's be real. I don't know if I would consider that safe. Rock salad! <laughs> I hope he's still following. And not just gonna bitch out at me. Oh, that man hung himself! Oh, we got another seducer. Oh, they all hung themselves. Hopelessness! Panic! <laughs> Stop trying to seduce me. It's not gonna work. I'm not into ghosts. This isn't Ghostbusters. I don't want that goddamn ghost blowjob. It's fine. Which was weird, because... I don't know. It was, an, it was an odd thing. I think most people agree that was an odd choice for the movie. The scene really stood out. Oh, God. What the fuck? I'm gonna save here in case I die. Which is very possible, let's face it. I do have that potion, but I'm also not... I only have one potion, so I'm not really gonna waste it. Oh, oh! Okay. What the... We, haven't we been here before? No. By the gods, everything here looks so similar. It's, we haven't it's been here maze. yet. Oh. Oh, really? We, we should never have left. This will be our doom. Ah! Oh, no. No, no, no. We haven't been He's here. Scared. All the cells, they're all empty. And there's blood. Oh, no. This guy's losing his there goddamn mind. People in there, just like us. They didn't know their place either, and, and now they're dead. They've simply dissolved. Because they dared to disobey the suppressor. <laughs> By the gods. This is what will happen to us, too. I knew it was a mistake to leave in the first place. I just knew it. You really are a bitch, aren't you? Alright, let's see. So it says further back 
this way. Wait, no. I will take the crusty bread. Crusty bread is always the answer. It is so goddamn dark here. Can you move? It says there's enemies. I can't open. Oh, I can't open these doors. Oh, here we go. Rock solid! Wait, come back. Where are you going? Don't do this. Hey, whoa, you! Stop! Don't pick up that skull. That's my job. Take remorse. Oh! Oh! Son of a bitch! Ugh, alright, I'm trying to think of how to do this. Wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, I just barely did it. It's because I healed up before. Well, this isn't ominous at all. Ooh, key to freedom. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Just need to place it. Nope, never mind. I was going to say place it gently. That did not work too well now, did it? Don't bounce around, you stupid human heart. Take the empty wine bottle instead. It's just because I can't really seem to... Fucking dick salad on my ass. It just doesn't want to fucking stay. Holy fuck, this is annoying. It's just like I can't really... Oh! Wait, that didn't work? Are you shitting me? There we go. I don't know why that worked, but... Oh, hey, we made a circle. Did that work? Oh, no. No. Can't you see? We're, we're back where we... No, I heard you. You didn't... You didn't finish talking. Hello? What? Leave me alone! <sighs> the suppressor's punishment. It will be horrible. Why are you so afraid of the suppressor? I haven't seen anything. But there must be a way out of here. I just don't understand. Who are you? A part of me? An illusion? Uh, of course I'm a part of you, and you are a part of me. Isn't that obvious? But I should have known you wouldn't understand. You're too weak. Hey! You always were. Bitch. But there must be a way out of here. Why are you so afraid of the suppressor? I haven't seen anything. No, you haven't. Because you're blind. The suppressor is here. In every single stone. In every bone. In every drop of blood. And yet you are too blind to see it. But I should have known. I mean, what can you expect from someone who has killed his entire family? Oh. I followed you because for a brief moment, you made me want to believe, and now you've dragged me into the abyss along with you. But Daddy, it was the Masked Men. Uh, but there must be a way out of here. No, there isn't. Just look at us. Look at what we are. We are the damned because we are trapped too deeply in the past. And that's why we do not deserve freedom. <sighs> Fine. Now... What? Hmm. It's a good goddamn question. Now what? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I mean... Oh, sleep. I'll sleep for one hour. I mean, it heals me, and it saves, so it's good. What? Leave me alone! I need to get out of here! Suppressor's punishment. I know it's gonna be horrible. It will be horrible. I know it'll be horrible. It's fine. Ugh, escape from the strange place. Just what binds me to this place? Oh! 
I'm sorry. Well, well. So you figured it out. <laughs> yes. I am what keeps you in this place. But was it blind rage that made you act, or have you truly understood who I am? Have you understood what drives you and determines your actions? The salt corrodes your skin, and the water filling your lungs is cold. But you still haven't found it, child, have you? Oh? Uh-oh. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's raining outside. Oh, I'm not wearing shoes. But, uh, what the fuck is that? Wooden figure. I can't interact. Hey, Jaspar! He's busy. Alright, I'll sit. I didn't mean to stand up. I was trying to interact with the wooden figure. Alright, nope, it's not working. Oh, hey. Good to see you awake. How are you feeling? Yeah, what the fuck is with this thing on the table? Uh, where are the others? Dumwar. Kalia, Master Batar. Bartar. Good question. The room was empty when I came here. Actually, that's quite weird, now that you mention it. The entire temple seemed kind of... deserted. Oh, it's... this is but, a dream. Uh, probably a ceremony or something like that. Now, tell me, how are you holding up? I heard this trial's quite the feat. Apparently, some of the novices never wake up again. This is... Is this a dream? Tired. Where are we? In the temple. The Curarium, to be precise. You were brought here when you were traveling with that Ixen guy. I think the others are already awake, but I didn't want to leave you here, so I thought I'd just stay. Oh, I'm still dreaming. I mean, hey, you are a keeper of the first sigil now, aren't you? I believe congratulations are in order. No, I'm still dreaming. Because you said you were going away. You said you were going to Kira. I'm not letting it get to my head. Well, you shouldn't. Do you know why? Because you're pathetic. Simply pathetic. Told you I'm dreaming. Excuse me? I said you are pathetic. Oh. At first, we believed it would be more exciting this time. <laughs> but now that we've seen the new prophet, our hopes are gone. You're a joke. A nobody who let his only friend kick the bucket. As if you'd ever accept that. You humans are always so damn persistent, aren't you? Why? Why can't you just let go? Because in the end, you are powerless, just as all those before you. Aww. And you, Prophet, you are the biggest joke of all. This is mean. You are nothing but an urchin. But you already said a that. Weakling. And a murderer. Oh, hey, Tilor. And that is why you will burn. All of you. The cleansing will happen, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. So you're the ones behind it, aren't you? Why are you doing this? What have we done to you? What have you done to us? You are so naive. The world is an interplay of cause and effect. And the only logical consequence of your existence is annihilation. That's the way it was, and that's the way it's going to be. But enough of the banter, Urchin. We wanted to meet you, and so we did. Even though the result is rather sobering. Now wake up! Keep on stumbling through the mist. Do I have to? Can I just wake up? That'd be great. What about the wooden figure? Is it gonna jump up and scare me? Nope. Am I actually awake this time? Someone please tell me, am I actually awake this time? Oh, it's, oh, it's the lady. Oh. Um. Hey, Dumbwar, you're, uh... You're sleeping quite oddly. Thank hey! The I was starting to think I was the only one. How are you? You look exhausted. Oh, tell me about it. Uh, shock of shocks. I am. Of course. Sorry. That remark was a little redundant. But it's good to see the Grandmaster was right after all. I woke up just a few hours earlier, and he was here in the meantime. He didn't doubt for a single second that you would make it. But I suppose mutual congratulations are in order. We made it. 
We passed the trial. And Dumwar didn't. So does that make us keepers now? Oh, do I get the sweet-ass armor and that cool sword everyone has? Almost, yes. All that is left to do is to take the oath, and then Grandmaster Aranthiel will exalt us to the keepers of the first sigil. I want the Speaking sword. Of whom, he also told me some things while you were asleep. About the Pyrians, about these dreams, and of course, about this... cycle. <sighs> this is so bizarre, really. At first we're told out of nowhere that the gods have died, and now humanity is on the brink of extinction. This is a lot to take in. A little bit. Your mouth is still moving, but you're not saying words. Uh, the death of the Lightborn is the best thing that could have happened to mankind. Um, I mean, I don't know how religious she is. I don't want to go insulting her now. I figured, what do you make of all this? The cycle? This cleansing? Hard to say. I never had those dreams the Grandmaster talked about, even though I'm magically gifted. Hey, me too! But then again, I always had the feeling that the Red Madness was more than an ordinary disease. <sighs> well, I suppose all of this explains a lot. At least now I can understand why the Grandmaster was willing to break all the traditions of the Order just to get you exalted to be a Keeper. According to him, most of our battle against the Cycle will stand or fall with you. Yeah, no pressure or anything. I wish I could say that with the same conviction as him, to be honest. I don't really think I've understood all of what's happened to me yet. Yes, I believe that. It's a great responsibility you've been given. And as impressive as your skills are, I would not want to change places with you. So what's the next step? Well, as I said, we both have to take the Holy Oath. You should talk to the Grandmaster as soon as you're ready. He's waiting for you in the Emporium. I want some sweet-ass armor. We both? What about Dunwar? I mean, I don't give a shit about him. The guy was a fucking asshole. Right. Dunwar. The apothecary examined him about an hour ago, and it doesn't look good. It's likely that he'll never wake up again. Maybe if he laid down in the bed like he should have? Like a normal person? He was a simple-minded fool. It would have surprised me if he had even passed. He, she was too nice to him. Maybe a little self-control would have done him some good. He was... impulsive, yes. But to some extent, I can understand why he was the way he was. No, fuck him. He's a dick. You know, Dunwar was one of those people who tried to gild their insecurity with boastful behavior. It's not, not an excuse. The reality is that he was the last of his bloodline, and his faith in the path and his destiny as a keeper were all that he had left. Eh. And who knows? Maybe he would have been a great help to the Order with the right guidance. You're making too many but excuses for him. I guess Master Bartar's revelation was just too much for him. It's hard to be told that everything you've lived for was a lie. Um... You don't seem to be too shaken up over all of this. The death of the Lightborn, I mean. Well, maybe I just don't show it as much. But yes, in a way, you're probably right. I suppose that's mainly due to the fact that to me, as opposed to Dunwar, the Order always stood for an idea. And an idea doesn't die with the one who first thought of it. Funny that the Grandmaster said nearly the same thing during the Exaltation. Dunwar would have considered it blasphemy. You talk about the Lightborn and their ideas as if they wouldn't have cost thousands of lives. They weren't as benevolent as you make them out to be. That's true. A lot of crimes were committed during the Lightborn's reign, and I don't want to minimize that. But I also think a lot of those crimes were... unavoidable, so to speak. Imagine you're the king of a small island. And one day your realm gets attacked by a fleet of Scarag Reavers. The invasion catches you completely off guard, and within a few hours, the Reavers have advanced to the farmland, just a few feet from your city's main gates. And before you know it, you have to make a decision. Will you use the time that remains to entrench your army within the city's walls to have a better chance of surviving a siege? Or do you send them into the field to fight the Reavers there? Knowing that there is only a slight chance to save the farmers, but a big risk that you will lose both the city and the farmers. Okay, fair point. I draw back to the city. Better to have a big chance to save the entire realm than a small chance to save a handful of farmers. That's one way to see it, yes. But what if your foray would have succeeded? Damn it! What if you could have prevented the massacre in the farmlands? I don't know. I'm not a commander. What I'm trying to say is, it doesn't matter what you do. There will be people who will despise you for your decision. Oh, I know. If your attempt to rescue the farmers fails, you will be accused of having acted blindly and idealistically. And if you just stay in the city, they will say you didn't even try. Everyone's a bitch. Of course, there's a small chance the foray might work, but should decisions like that really be made as if they were a game of dice? As I said, I don't mean to absolve the Lightborn of their crimes. 
but I'd wager my left hand that they had a lot of similar decisions to make. Interesting thought. Speaking of Delmar, what was that thing that the ritual uh, place all about? He called you a witch? Mm. I knew the question would come eventually. I suppose the answer depends on whether you're in the mood for some gloomy talk. Ooh, Sooner always. Sooner or later, you'll hear it from someone else anyway, so... Why not from me first? I do like gloomy talk. Uh, I wouldn't have asked if I weren't interested. Shoot. As you wish. I... <sighs> Where should I start? Maybe with the fact that I don't remember anything that happened before my sixth winter. I don't know where I was born, and I never got to know my parents. You don't remember? How come? I wish I knew. What I do know, though, is that the first memory I have is of waking up in the middle of some village. It was dark, and I felt dizzy and, I don't know, empty? That's probably the best way to describe it. I eventually found the strength to get up and look around, and, well, that's when I realized what was actually going on around me. And what was that? The entire village. It had been destroyed. Oh. There were corpses everywhere. Men, women, children. And the houses had been crushed as if some mad god had rampaged through the streets there. And it had all just happened hours before because the destruction was still fresh. But whatever it was, I didn't have much time to think about it. As soon as I got up, I saw three riders coming through the smoke. Oh, and they blamed you. One of them got off his horse ran towards one of the corpses and started screaming something in my direction. Then I felt a blow on the back of my head and I lost consciousness. By the name of the sun, it's... It's strange to talk about it like this. It's been so long, but the memory feels as if it had happened yesterday. Why didn't those men attack you? Uh... Yeah, no. Well, it turned out the riders were hunters who had come from that village. Oh. They must have observed the... whatever it was from the distance, and ridden back to the village. At least I think that's how it went. I guess I'll never find out. The reason they thought I was somehow involved is that the village priest found me a couple of days before it happened near a shrine in the wilderness. Apparently, I was wearing torn clothing, and no matter what the apothecary tried, he couldn't wake me up from my comatose sleep, and it seems that made the writers think I was some kind of witch child, or unholy beast, whichever you prefer. Yeah, I prefer witch child. They really thought a six-year-old child destroyed an entire village? That's ridiculous. For you, maybe. For them, as simple people, it was probably the best explanation they had. And think about it, it's not that far off. A motherless child who neither talks nor breathes steadily is found abandoned on the roadside and has a strange mark on her face. They leave to go hunting, and when they come back, they find their village in ruins with that foundling child being the only survivor. You have to admit, it's not that much of a stretch, even if those men hadn't been superstitious farmers. I see. And these men wanted to do... what exactly? Take revenge? Probably. Truth be told, I try not to think about it too much. And actually, it doesn't matter, because I somehow managed to get away before they could do anything. I even made it to Ark all by myself. Which didn't turn out to be much of an improvement in the end, because I was pathless. They brought you into the Undercity, right? Yes. Thinking about it now, I actually wonder how I made it through my time down there. But maybe that's one of the advantages of being a child. You don't think. You just act. Still, the winters down there were cruel, and if Master Tyrus hadn't found and taken care of me, I probably wouldn't have made it through my second year. Master Tyrus? A keeper adopted you? Yes, otherwise I would not be here. Yeah. Oh. He saw me, and he knew what he had to do, is how he put it. Oh, there's no wooden statue now. Good. Of course, the Order wasn't too happy about a pathless child in the Scuola, just as some aren't happy about you being here. But Tyrus was a highly regarded man, and that's why they let it slide. Uh, so he just... 
saw you and decided to adopt you? That sounds too good to be true, to be honest. It does, yes. But then he had lost both his wife and daughter five years before he found me. So maybe I was some kind of substitute. I don't know. But in the end, it doesn't matter. I owe him everything. He was a good man. Oh, he died? that's all that matters. Oh, what happened to him? Um, why is the Order so preoccupied about Pathless trying to get into the ranks? It's not like we both don't have our reasons. That's right, we do. But we are both still Pathless. And that disqualifies us according to the Holy Verses. I guess now you understand why I was never as connected to Malthus's teaching as Dunwar was. To some of the Keepers, I am still an outcast. And no matter what I do, I always will be. So Master Tyrus granted you the Novicate. No Novitiate. Yes. And now I'm here. I don't know words. <sighs> well, here we've reached the end of my impressive tale. I hope you liked it. I did. Uh, you're definitely not the fisherman's daughter from the village, I'll give you that. Yeah, let's, you're, not the, you're not the fisherman's daughter. No, I guess I'm not. What happened to Master Tyrus? Where is he now? Gone. He was very old, and there was nothing anyone could do about it. But I'd, I'd prefer not to talk about it, if you don't mind. No, I get it. Don't worry. So that means Dunmore believes that this story about you being responsible for the destruction of the village is actually true? Well, he believed it. He's, let's face it, he's dead as dicks now. He does, yes. And he's not alone in his opinion. One of those hunters recognized me in the market my first year as a novice, and you can imagine that it was easy pickings for those who were already against my presence in the Order. Yeah. From then on, they added names to the derogatory stairs. Demon Child, Witch, whatever they could come up with. Damn bastards. While you're talented, intelligent, and pretty, many reasons for the other novices to envy you. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, she likes that. You know what's funny? To some extent, I'm glad to be who I am. You're unique. That way, people just leave me alone. And that gives me more time to focus on what's important. On my goals. On me. Which would be? Several. Oh. But I'd say that's enough of the gloomy stories, don't you think? There will be plenty of time for chatter in the future. Maybe. No, definitely. Come on. We're going to be best friends. Uh, Dunwarp was the last of his bloodline? Yes. All of the Delmordans fell victim to the Great Flesh Maggot Plague of 8215. Actually, it was almost sad to see him running around and boasting about his nobility, though everyone knew that without the help of the Order, he would have probably ended up living in a shack in the Undercity. Good. If you can call that living. He's, no, no, he deserves it. Uh, let's talk later. I should go see the Grand Master now. You should. It's already late, but if you want, I can show you the most important places in the temple before you go to the Emporium. <gasps> What do you think? Oh, uh, that would be nice. Good. Then get your gear from the chest by your bed and we'll go. Oh, I have to re-equip everything, don't I? Uh, I want to check my journal. Part of something more momentous. Oh, something, part of something momentous. Part three. All right. Can I take, oh, nope, it's an empty bottle and I can't take it anyway. Look at him, he looks ridiculous. You should reclaim your gear before we leave. No, I'm, I'm getting it. I have okay. to... Let's go. Wait, I have to... Yeah, I gotta re-favorite everything now, so that's one, two, three, four. I'll make meditation. I don't need a hotkey meditation. Oh, whoa, you're running off. I don't need clothes right now. It's fine. Get going. What are you doing? Wait, don't just stand here. Yes. Go! Move! Tally-ho! There we go.